Over the past few lessons, we have gone through many locators and selectors. In this lesson, we'll go over the other miscellaneous locators and selectors which are available to us and can come in handy when we are trying to locate web elements. The first one is the nth selectors that is based on a number. So let's say what we want to do is select all the buttons with the primary written on it. So we can simply use the get by rule selector and then we can simply say something like the role is button the name is primary and then try to highlight all of them you can see they are highlighted but there are four of these buttons now what if we want to select the second button that is a bit faded to do that, we can just use page, the same selector we did in the upper line. And then instead of the highlight, we will add another selector by just adding a dot and then using the locator. And to the locator string, we'll provide the keyword nth, that is any number element that is first, second, third, fourth, fifth and that n is representing a number which we specify using a equal sign and let's say we want to select the second element and here we will use indices that is the indexed number which means the first is zero the second is one so we'll provide one here and then we'll just say highlight that guy you can see this is getting highlighted so if you'd like to select the first one then we'll specify the nth as zero and if you'd like to select the third one then what we'll do is pass nth as two of course you can use the nth match pseudo class with css selectors but you can use locators as well like this and this locator works with anything that is if i were to write some selector using css so first a locator and then we will have something let's say button with the text of primary so if i go ahead and try to highlight all the buttons which is selected i'm sure a lot and then let's say if we try to select the first one and let's say this 19th one which is kind of visible here so we can use something like this and then append another locator method and then say nth equals let's say 18 and then let's highlight that guy you can see it still works so this locator right here can be appended with another locators whether it is a css selector or a get by rule or get by text or anything else moving on to the next locator that is the parent locator let's say what we want is to select the parent of a certain item so let's say these form fields so if i go ahead and inspect them you can see we have a input field and then we would like to select this div element to do that we will just use the get by label locator first so get by label the label of the input is email address and now we can just go ahead and highlight the same you can see it is highlighted now I want to highlight its parent and to do that I can append a locator like this and to the locator I can provide a string with dot dot. Now if you are familiar with terminal operations then you will know dot dot means the parent directory and the dot dot here works similarly that is select an element and then this locator goes ahead and selects its parent so if i go ahead and highlight that 
you can see the parent that is the div element containing the form element is highlighted so that's how you can use the dot dot selectors as well pretty handy and moving on to the next one is the keyword things which we just did like the nth one we can also use the locator to locate elements based on their id so here what we can do is say page locator we can simply say id as the keyword equals a value let's say this right here i'm sure it is something like btn group drop one and now if i go ahead and highlight the same you can see it is getting highlighted so you can directly pass the id without using any css or xpath selector and you can also select these things that is if i go ahead and try to select this drop down menu which is visible so page locator i'll use css first that is a dev element with the drop down menu class let's go ahead and first highlight that you can see it is highlighted but we are also highlighting the other 12 so if i want to make sure it is visible then i can again use another locator the locator string will be visible equals true like this now i can just say i like that you can see the only drop down menu which is visible is getting highlighted now you can see that i said visible equals true which means you can specify that false as well so only show the drop down menus which are not visible so you can see that if i set the visible equals false it's still showing this one so you should be aware of this as well now moving on to our last miscellaneous selector that is if we want to select an element based on a filter and the filter can be whether it has a certain text or whether it has a certain element so let's say what we want to do is select all the headings that is page locator or let's just use get by role and the role will be heading now if i do highlight that you can see we have a lot of ones that is a total of 68 and now i want to filter that by a certain amount of text or a certain piece of text of course we could go ahead and use the get by text or other css options but this is a possibility as well that is you could filter it based on a text to this filter we can provide has text keyword argument and the text it should has will be let's say we want to select this heading ones so that is all the heading one two six i can just say heading like this and then end it now then highlight those instances you can see it does the job it only selects the elements with the heading word or text inside of it finally if we want to select an element only if it has a certain element that is let's say we want to select a form group that is if i go ahead and inspect this right here you can see all the forms are inside form groups like this so inside of this form groups let's say we want to only select the one with the password like this that is the password input field so what i can do is first of all select the parent locator which would be dev dot form group that is the css selector so dev dot form hyphen group and then if i try to highlight all of the instances you can see there are a total of 17 form groups now we want to filter the locator based on 
whether it has the input field which we get by its label and the label is password and then I can just go ahead and highlight the same. You can see we have highlighted this div block that is a form group with the password input field and we do have another selection which is right here and it also has the password input field. The thing is you can select an element based on whether it has a certain element using the filter method. So these were the other miscellaneous selectors which can be used with our locators.